Yeah, I thought it was a, an excellent GLIAC basketball game. I thought they played, they played hard and well, and I thought uh, we played well. Uh, a, a huge difference in the game was they probably played better longer. I, there was a four or five minute stretch here where we, we were not uh, very good offensively and a little soft defensively. Other than that, I thought we, we played a good basketball game. And that is our ongoing issue, these, these segments of us not scoring and giving up you know, multiple opportunities for our opponents. And we'll continue to work on it with time that will come. Yeah, you know, we've, we've said all along that Trent can really shoot, and it, it came out on, on Saturday against uh, Northern, and it was good for him. He's not going to shoot that well every game, but I hope it just gives him a, uh, uh, an idea that he can be that guy. And he, even though if he doesn't take eight threes a game, if he takes three or four threes a game and is successful and confident, that's what we want out of him. He's always been a really, had, had a high motor and a good player, but this is just another aspect of his game that came along and needs to continue to come along as far as his confidence and his ability to shoot it because he can do that. And the nice thing is with his confidence growing, that now that'll put Brian as a scorer, Dawson as a scorer, Trent as a a, a, a a chance to be a scorer, and that, that gives us more options when we need to ha have a go-to guy. We're doing better as far as executing both offensively and defensively. Our, our, our offense looks l somewhat like an offense, goes inside out, and we, we have decent spacing. And our defense has been good. We just have lapses, and we got to get, again, especially defensively, we have to get through that. We're, we're, we have been getting good shots with our offense. We just have to capitalize on them and make them, and that's going to come with time. Uh, our defense cannot take any possessions off, and and some of its some of our defensive lapses recently have been. I've been putting more emphasis on offense, and I need to get back to the defensive uh, emphasis in practice. Purdue has been playing teams uh, very tough for segments of the game. You know, they, they've beaten uh, they've beaten Wayne State, who, who beat us, and they've played a lot of these teams tough. Uh, their, their scores have not reflected how they're growing as, as a program. And uh, it is going to be a challenge because Purdue Northwest plays hard every possession. They're playing 11 guys, and they don't get tired, and they play hard. And at home, that could be an issue for us if we're not ready to, to, to do the things that we need to do to be successful that day. And of course, Parkside you know, beat us in our gym here, and uh, they have a very, very fine team. They, they know what they're doing, and they do it well. And you know, they'll defend enough to, to, to keep you out of the paint. They'll, they'll play hard, and their offense, they, on any given day, you know, three, four, five of their kids could be their leading scorer. So, a uh, great challenge again in the GLIAC this week, and uh, we're looking forward to it. We're going to get better.